Hello, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on The Goddess Cave. I want to thank you guys for your support. In today's episode, I wanted to just give you guys a breakdown of how I made this whole studio happen, my thought processes of everything, and then I actually got a breakdown of everything in this studio. Um, just in case if anybody else wants to do something like this, whether you do it in your room or wherever you have a vision to do so. So before I get into the breakdown of the pricing of everything, um, don't mind me if I'm taking sips of coffee. It is cold. It is winter time here and this room is not insulated. So pray for me and hope and bring spring early. Okay. <laughs> but okay. Um, starting off, um, I always wanted a studio for this because I was in the last two seasons, everything was done in my car. Um, the couple times I got a hotel room just to relax, um, Mostly all the episodes that you've seen on the other two episodes, like I said, were in my car. Um, that's the only place where I could get some peace and quiet and a clear mind to record. Um, I use a $10 lavier mic. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But I did, think, I did get that from Amazon. Um, most of these things that I've gotten to, for this place has been off of Amazon. Um... And my thing was, if you're going to do something, put your 100% into it. You are your biggest and greatest investment. And if you can't invest in yourself, if you can't take a chance on yourself and just show that you believe that whatever you put into your company, into your product that you're selling, into your nonprofit organization, whatever it is, if you, if you can't take that initial chance on yourself, no one else is going to be able to see that. You know, we, we, we spend our money into things that people say, hey, I took the time. I took the time to think. I took the time to plan. I took the time to make sure this is a great quality, that this is a great service. We want to see those things. It makes us feel good about the product or service that we are purchasing. Um, and, you know, sometimes you can get discouraged. Like, I didn't notice how much I spent on this. You know, I didn't put a cap on it because I said, God got me, you know, and and he helped me work the overtime to get to this place. He helped me. Like I said, um, in the last season, you heard me say I got injured. And that was so discouraging, you know. And I just picked up and kept it moving. You know, I, I was like, I, I had to reach my goal of saving a, up for my apartment. and um, But it's okay to just want more. And then to have to deplete from, you know, your savings and stuff like that where I was thinking I was holding all this money to put into this and have to use it just to maintain you know what I'm saying and it was very discouraging so but with faith I went back to work early because I said I have a goal I'm not gonna let them discourage me I got a place I gotta get I gotta get this home together I need to feel good about my home I need to create this studio um and it all worked out so when I first got this studio done I was crying good okay i'm emotional don't 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 bear with me you know and i guess could not believe that i i no don't say that it just was when you have a goal and you're you're, you're really not a goal when when you have feel like you have a purpose we all have purposes but when you lock into your purpose and I'm so I'm, I'm so into helping, you know, and navigating me being able to be a vessel for God. I always said, you know, in my prayer, I said, Lord, continue to use me, you know, as I meet people and, <laughs> you know, things may happen to you. But I always say some things happen to you first and then they come through you. So there's blessings in everything, of course, and. I, I wanted to learn how to be healthier for myself and healthier for the people who I come in contact with, for my future, for my children, for my mother and father, for my siblings. You know, I just want, I want the, I want a home at heart, but I know it starts with me. I have to take care of my home first. So I'm talking about myself and my temple. I have to take care of my home first. So knowing that. I didn't put a cap on this. Numbers don't matter in this sense for me. It's it's nothing that I could go back and say, oh, I wish I did this because I did everything that I felt like I needed to do. I, I, I took my time in planning and thinking and praying 
And to be in this room is just like, it's amazing. It's a, it's an amazing feeling. Because I had, I had to get out of waiting until later, to later, to later. That was a thought process that I grew up with was, you know, when you get to this point, you'll be happy. No, work on getting happy right now. Work on whatever you think is going to make you happy right now. And work on it and you will get to it. Look at me. Had a setback. But here I am, okay? Still coming back from it, but I didn't care. What I need to get this done because this gives me purpose. It gives me a feeling of fulfillment. And that's a lot of the reason why we're out here searching for these things because we're not fulfilled. Find whatever it is that makes you feel fulfilled and lock in. Period. Excuse me if I'm getting loud and yeah, but anyway, so in my home, I have created this beautiful studio and I love it. Um, at first, as I was going through the thought processing of what I want my home to look like and how did I want to set up a studio? Did I want to be able to have to break it down every day? And that wasn't what I wanted. So I wanted to have a designated space for my studio because I just feel like that's a hassle to have to keep breaking things down I was going to at first make a backdrop of these um, panels back here the uh, artificial boxwood panels I was going to just make a you know um, you know how like in photography they have the backdrop uh, clips or holders I was going to use that but that's just too much and it's these are actually really heavy so that would have not worked anyway um, and my my home is a good size, but I've also outgrown it. I've only been here for, what, four months, and I'm outgrowing it already. So that is how I know more is better to come, okay? <laughs> okay? But this is a starting off thing, so uh, that's great. But here I have this space, and I didn't really have much to put in here in the first place. So I'm like perfect you know I as soon as I walked in the door I'm like this is perfect um I wasn't really too picky about you know having all the fancy you know tech stuff and uh features or appliances I just wanted somewhere where I can call home and my first night here it was just like rest Ebony I felt so good I had a prayer I said Lord give me a place for me and Natalie to have peace of mind a new home to be able to implement all the goals that I have get closer to you closer to my purpose and just feel happy and create all of this all of my goals have always revolved around getting back to other people making me better to be to be better to my parents making me better to be better to my future husband making me better to be a better auntie making me better to just be better to other people because we, we have to go out there and learn to be able to make our whole family better. That's the only way because we tend to just go out there and get better for ourselves and then, you know, selfishly trying to bring people along hinders other people. So that was always my goal. I, I want to get better for me first and focus on me first so that way I can be healthier for others and it can just be a, you know, trickling down domino effect. And it's it's been a little bit discouraging, you know, certain things take time, but knowing that you're sitting in a place that you had a vision for and I got it was such a blessing. So I'm just so happy. There's nothing I would change about where I am now. I am blessed. Okay. I'm blessed. Anywho. Um I guess knew what I'd have to do and had to get right down to it. So as soon as I moved in, I was like, all right, here we go. What are we doing? Let's knock, let's start putting these pliers, what they call them, the pliers up when you're building a house. Let's, didn't say that right, but it's okay. Putting it up, everything, and let's knock, knock these walls down. Let's, let's get this going. So the first thing that I ever did was on the floor, I have some carpet tiles. Um, I knew this room wasn't going to be insulated for the winter time. I was going to make this a workout room, but because I have so much stuff in here for just the studio itself, and I have some storage stuff in the corner uh, for Christmas, I don't have that space. I could use this for, um, you know, multifunctional, but I'm probably not just going to just be a recording room. I guess, yeah, my I move my workout stuff inside because it's cold and I don't have time to be coming in and out, and this is enough, okay? <laughs> Pray for me. But, uh, yeah, so... The first thing that I bought was some carpet tiles. They're just basic um, carpet tiles. They were like a dollar ninety nine each. Um, I got about what sixteen of them on the floor, just to cover up the floor. I was gonna find a rug, but it wasn't 
given. So, yeah, that was the first thing that I bought. The next thing that I bought um, was these Hage panels, um, boxwood panels. Um, those came from Amazon, and they were uh, by Yahi Tech. Um, they come in a six pack. Um, they were 20 by 20 um, artificial boxwood panels. They were $55.99. I got two packs. Now these I had to go and get my dad's um, staple gun to put these up. Nails wasn't given. And um, this is, I didn't want to do anything that was permanent in here as well because I am renting. So yeah, so I put about just two boxes. Um, it fit this space perfectly um that was the first thing that i got now ebony go in order because i wrote this in an order for a reason um <laughs> the next thing like i said all these things following through will be from amazon um the next thing i got was from jber those would be the acoustic panels now them panels are amazing the ones that i bought before amazon you wrong for that okay because maybe i just didn't read it correctly and so forgive me but they just was not given and they just look cheap and chintzy now i did have to put these on some foam boards which i got from michael's they were like 7.99 each i had to get like what they come in a two pack they're by elmer's i got two three packs of them um to put the acoustic foams on um these are two inch um thick foams so they just look a lot better and for sound I had to put those onto the foam board with a hot glue gun, which I already had. I'm crafty, so yeah. And then I just put the foam panels up with the foam boards onto the wall with some scotch mounting tape. Now, if you are renting, I would say do this. Thank you so much, Jordan, for giving me that advice and helping me with this. Um, it's just a better way if you're going to keep moving around. Like I said, wherever I go, I want to have a home studio. So I can also just be, you know, do things at home as needed because the day goes crazy some days. And also have a place to where if I don't have a guest on a show, they don't have to come to my home. You know, because I'm not, I'll, I'll sage or put some blessed oil somewhere in the jiffy. So yeah, that was the first thing um, that I did get, or the second thing that I did get. Um, the next thing that I got was from East Shining. They are the microphone boom arms and they come with shock mounts. Now, the first ones that I got were just janky. <laughs> and she wasn't about to go through all of that. So these are perfect, easy to put up, and it's just better because the ones that I got didn't come with the shock mount. So just having to match all these up, if you want to go that way, this is what I recommend. And these are lovely. Um, I got two of these. They are $19.99. And like I said, I got two of them. The next thing that I got was from Eagle GGO, all one word. I will put all of this in the description below um, in case I'm spelling or pronouncing anything incorrectly. Um, the product is a power supply, which is for my Zoom H6 recorder. Um, simply because, like I said, my apartment is older. Um, but it keeps blowing a fuse and that ain't right so i got that because i it does work off of batteries my zoom h6 recorder interface works off of batteries but because i don't want to have to worry about blowing fuses i got that as well just in case i didn't know that i would be blowing fuses in this room so i probably won't be using that but if i ever decide to go somewhere else and i need to use a power supply don't have any batteries that is lovely this was $11.99 and I guess got one of those the next thing again will be my zoom recorder my zoom h6 recorder interface and it has four xlr inputs I got this off of amazon like I said it was $349.99 I only needed one of course um perfect record right into this put into your um put it into your computer perfect um, the next thing that I got was my uh, table. Ciao. Now, see, the story behind this table. So, mind me as we flow with how we flowing because my mind just is not, you know, <laughs> white and black or gray and white, whatever you want to call it. It don't work like that, so just flow with me. Um, this table was originally supposed to go into the home. 
But because, like I said, that space is not big enough for what I want to do and not functional enough for it, this is where it is. Now, I fell in love with this table, so I was not about to find nothing else. Um, it's beautiful. My color is gray. That is the interior that I love. It's just chic, clean. It ain't too white. It ain't too dark. It's just in the middle, and it's modern. I love it. It has um, wood gray on the top and the metal frames, which are black. Um, it is a 47-inch home office desk wood top with a metal frame in the color stone gray and black. This was $65.95, and I love it. Um, the next thing I got was my microphones. These are Samson microphones. These are Samson Q2U USB XLR microphones. This is the pack. They have a podcasting pack and a regular pack. I got the regular pack. It includes an XLR cable, pop filter, USB cable, and a table stand now. Table stands are okay. I just didn't like having a whole bunch of stuff on the table because who knows what I'm bringing in. Like I have a coffee cup here today and if I have a guest on the show, it's going to be just too much clutter. So that's why I got the boom arms. But um, they come with the XLR cable, which I have into my H6 recorder. Um, and then if you want to just record into your computer, which is fine, but... Uh, I just want the best sound for this room. Like I said, it's not insulated. So I want to make sure I got the best sound quality that I could. And, you know, I went the cheap way once before, and which is perfectly fine. But as you keep going each year, level it up. It will come back to you in a well return. Okay. Believe in it and have faith. Um, so yeah, those are two options that you have. So wherever your pocket's at, this is a good microphone, good quality, and you can keep leveling up as you progress. The next thing I got was by Newer, and it's a two-pack of dimmable USB video lights with tripods. So that is my lighting in this room. Um, I thought they was chintzy and cheap, but they give what they're giving. Um, it looks nice. They come with color um, filters. I haven't used it, so bear with me as I learn video, and um, it's like, I think blue, red, and yellow, if I'm not mistaken, but this is perfect for right now, as I learned how to edit and all that stuff, so bear with me. Like I said, um, these were two packs, so I only had to buy one of these. The price of these are $45.99, and they're giving, okay? The only thing that I would tell you to do that I did not put on this list is get one of the... Uh, USB um, plugs that go, you know, if you can plug your uh, USBs in, get a two pack for those just to save on space. And that's what I got to put into my, um, what is that? Y'all know how I am, so don't be shocked that I'll be getting, you know, cloud brain. What is that on the floor? Come to me. It is a power strip. Um, I had to get that for the power strip. So that's what that price was. That's what that was. Power strip. See? When, when, don't play with me, brain. Don't play with me today. That was 35 from Home Depot. Okay, I just want to make sure I give you guys all the correct information. Now, moving on. The next item was, like I said, from Walmart. I got the uh scotch double-sided mounting tape now if you're putting things on the wall make sure you're getting mounting tape because the foams are kind of heavy and you just want mounting tape double-sided tape and mounting tape are not the same um i got three of those um, i'm saying three because i i need to get another pack because they're kind of lifting off the wall right now but they're still up so thank you jesus about that um, the next thing that I got was some bubble wrap from the Dollar Tree, which is not really a part of this thing, but because it is cold in here, I use that to insulate the um, crevices of the door for drafts. Um, the next thing that I got, <laughs> which is something that I love, okay, it is from Sketch and Etch. I will give you guys a um, promo code if you guys need it. I guess have not went through and completed that yet. I gotta tell y'all a story. This is she, okay? And I love her, okay? She's rose gold, as you guys can see, in the back. Can you see that? 
that is me rose gold okay that is me i am she i love rose gold that's my favorite that's my favorite color right now i'm going through a rose gold phase and iphone can we bring back rose gold because this gold ain't giving you see that you see that rose gold is me okay but anyway um it's pretty it's pretty and i love it i love it um it comes with a demo remote for most orders i think over a hundred dollars don't quote me if that is incorrect but i know you can get a free demo remote that's what i was offered and it's on their uh page as you're checking out and making orders so i saw a glass backing on sketch and edge now most of them come in clear so you will have to actually go and contact someone directly to do this because on the site does not give this option so I DM someone on Instagram on the Sketch and X page and customer service was lovely. They helped me. Everything was super duper quick and efficient. This is what we came up with and I love it. Okay. Okay. Copy that. Copy that. I love it. Like I said, it comes with a dimmer and here we go. Turning it on. You can turn it up all the way to different settings with the scroll. And then um, you also have a light button to dim and to brighten. And like I said, an on and off switch. So I love it. It is so nice. Um, let me work to get this back to where it was. Okay. Um, this product was, like I said, custom. So this was my pricing. Um, it was $373.80. It took about 10 to 20 days. Shipping was amazing. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay. Now, the only issue that I did have was in root, it cracked. So this one, I did, they did give me another one free of charge. So thank you so much. But you see how this is a blessing sometimes because I, I know going down the line, I will have, okay, claim it. I will have my own studio with a beautiful view. So for my guests to come on the show and just to have, you know, all my businesses and things run out of that building, I thought I will take on this role of entrepreneurship. But um, they did replace it because back here it's cracked. You can't see it, but it's affecting the way that the T on the back is lighting up. So they sent me another one free of charge. Um, So blessing in disguise because now I got to go buy another one. Okay. So if you come into that issue... Make sure you contact them and they will handle what they got to handle. That was so beautiful and nice, okay? Because I spent some ching-ching on this. So this one will end up just being my always home studio. And then I do have another one in the house, which is the one that works completely fine. Um, that I will be able to use elsewhere or however I want to use it. I'll end up switching this out. I just haven't got the time to do it yet. And then to get my dad's power drill to do so. So, um love that that's my favorite part of this thing okay next thing well all this is going to be from best buy um my camera okay now it's always a story with the stuff that i'm buying and it's like do you it's like was the devil trying to like you know why am i holding like this? do y'all hold y'all cups by the handle or by the whole mug because that don't feel right but um the camera was the hardest thing for me to decide on because I've had, you know, photography class. Thank you, Ms. Shout out to Mr. D because Deep, you the reason why I was able to create my um, art logo for this podcast. And if it wasn't for you, see, sometimes blessings come way, way down the line and you don't even know that you're going to be using it, but you know what you know what you know. Okay, and it came back like click, click. So I was like, I did that on Adobe Photoshop. Um, that's also another cost to this. I didn't just put that in there. I wasn't thinking about that. So I don't know how much that membership is. Don't really know. As well as my premiere uh, for editing. Can't tell you the cost of that right now off rip, but those are added into this whole thing. So that gets me the price went up. That's okay, because my price is going up. Okay, <laughs> but... Uh, the camera was by Sony. Um, it's a Sony Alpha ZV-E10 kit mirrorless vlog camera with the 16 to 50 lens in the color black. Now, this camera is sold out currently. 
the one I was going to get was just a plain camera with no lens, okay? Because it was cheaper. And remember I told y'all about investing in yourself? I was like, forget it, Ebony. You got to get this done. I'm procrastinating already. We got to get this together, okay? So I just went ahead and ordered it. This was the vlogging set. So when you go on there, it's going to have a kit that has a tripod. Now, it's going to be a blessing in disguise because... I am going to create my own personal account where I can just give you guys a little bit more of me where this can be mostly based on facts and fun, but that one gets to be, you know, more so for entertainment, you know, but, uh, and just life in general or just facts about me besides, you know, what I'm going to be telling on this platform. So all together with the coverage that I got from Best Buy, um, for four years, in case anything happens to this camera, was nine fifty three ninety eight? Um, that's the given price. I don't know if that has changed, but the last time I looked, that was the price for the camera with the lens, with the vlogging tripod with the functions on it, and my coverage for four years. Another thing that I got from there was the tripod. Was nineteen ninety nine. It's by Sunpack Platinum Plus fifty eight inch tripod 2119 I told you guys already about the foam boards that I used to put the acoustic foam panels on um those were a two pack of 18 by 24 and those were 749 each so the other thing that I got that I love is my lights now see I had this vision I was going to put some light bulbs up there and have them hanging down but because of the frame of this it's actually you can't see it but the ceiling is slanted so the panels aren't straight and I didn't like the way it looks in the frame so I guess I forget it and I already have both bought these rope lights what I got from Michaels I was doing Christmas shopping and I guess it that's it I love them because they work with your cellular device. So, oh, I said cellular. I'm getting old. Golly. Um, these are by Genie. I paid $45 for these. Might have been $35, but it was around there. Um, you can connect them to your smartphone, and you can change. <laughs> Ain't that cute? You can change the lights. <laughs> you can change the lights on there, so I love that. Um, make sure you get the rope, the thick ones. Uh, I don't have the box anymore, so I can't really tell you the, um, exact brand, but when I figure it out, I will put that in the description, but they are by Genie. So you just download the app on your phone and you can change them to whatever color you want. You can change the brightness, saturation, the moods. I did not cut these because I know leveling up and my price going up, I'm going to be moving from this place. Okay. So I want to be able to make sure that I don't cut them so I have to buy them again. And it worked anyway for the whole space. I didn't actually have to cut them. So that was perfect. They do have an on and off switch on the actual device itself or the lights itself. But like I said, you can turn them on and off with your phone and just fool around with it. I haven't played too much with them. But um, yeah, that's let me set the mood. Let me set the mood. And that's that's what it was at. So those are forty five dollars. Um, the next thing that I got was these folding chairs. Um, now sitting on them, they not so comfortable. So I'm gonna have to get um, I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get maybe some cushions or something. But they're perfectly fine. They were seven ninety nine from IKEA. I wasn't trying to break the bank with the chairs because, like I said, as I Go along with this. This is perfectly fine for this area. And I'm kind of limited on space, you know. So I had to get the best functional chairs for the space. Um, these are $7.99 from Ikea. You have an abundance of these all the time. Folding chairs. The next thing I got was the power strip that I could not remind y'all about. That was $35. It was expensive. Y'all know y'all wrong for this inflation. Like, y'all, y'all, $35 for a power strip. But I had to get a long enough one that goes into the house. Like I said, this room, I, there's no um, outlets in this room. 
besides what my dad put up in the light bulb a fixture that you can plug things into but because there's so much power it won't hold so i had to get a long enough cord to go outside um into the house so that was that so in total this is what i did on my um instagram for the goddess cave i wrote this down abundance because i did not limit myself i did not think with a scarcity mindset i know that if i take if i give god my yes first of all who gonna stop me boo who's gonna stop me nobody because look i got it done <laughs> like I got to bring it back to that because I really got so discouraged, you guys, when I got injured because I had paid off all my credit card debt from irresponsible spending and <laughs> put myself in a rut again. But it's okay because if I did it once, I know how to do it again. That's the good thing about learning and trial and error because once you do it one time, now if you choose to take another route and have to do it hit the u-turn and come back to what you know to get back to you on track that's on you that's okay but once you learn how to get out of something don't stress you know i spent two thousand three hundred nine dollars and 27 cents now the reason why i did not put a limit on this because i really didn't know how much i was going to have to spend and two it stresses you out about you know that's a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is a lot. I put it on this note, investment into my purpose, investment into myself. And I'm going to always keep this. Because this is where I started. I started with a $10 microphone. And my iPhone 10. And look at me now. I never thought that I would be able to do this. I mean, I did, but I guess, I don't know. It's a beautiful thing seeing things work out for your good, you know, along with life and bills. And y'all know the government ain't right with this medical bills because I guess can't understand for the life of me. Why did I have to come out of pocket so much for being a healthy individual? I'm so confused about that to this day. I'm still paying off that debt, but I got it all paid off, majority. I got all my medical debt paid off in two months. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you all the cost of that because I'm still upset about it. But, and it's irrelevant, just to know that I got that all paid off because I set my mind to a goal and know that God has a promise with, for me that I just have to get back up and run alongside his goal that he already has in motion. Okay, <laughs> that's all I had to do. So the work is always going to be on you of keeping yourself aligned the best way that you can. And even even if even if your line is right here and you cover it like this, but at least you know where that line is at. That's an important thing because life will happen and it'll try to deter you away from your line. But don't lose sight of it. As long as you keep sight of it, it's all right because there, there'll be some times when you have to make an adjustment while you're on your way to entrepreneurship or, you know, whatever it is. You might have to make an adjustment. So, okay, you know what? I may have better put so much time into it, but I'm going to put, what, $10 up a day for my goal. I may have to buy, excuse me, like what I did, I put, I bought an item every week out of my check. An item every week until I got it done. Until I got it done. Some things I had to charge, but I had to get this done. Believing, having faith. I got to get this done. I couldn't keep sending like Like, the last thing I had to buy was my camera. Which was the costliest thing that I've purchased for this whole place. And I didn't want to get it. Because it wasn't the one that I wanted. But it all worked out for my good. And I'm happy. Because now... I don't have to keep sitting in my room thinking, oh, why aren't you getting this done? You should be recording right now. And look at me now. <laughs> sitting here like, who is she? A woman who did not let nothing get in her way. 
<laughs> gosh, child, don't play with her. Don't play with her. I've had to lose so many things and people to get to where I am. Thinking that I needed certain people and things to get to where I am. That can be discouraging too as you're building. Don't let that happen. Because he will give you what you need. Stay thorough. Stay thorough. We all have things. And that's my problem. Let's let's be done with that. That is my problem. Is that we don't see processes. We don't learn processes. Because everyone wants to think like they have it under control. Ego. That's not how you build a community. That's not how you grow. That's not how you leave a legacy for your children to follow behind because you didn't set that standard. You didn't show them how things get done. So when a person has a company, okay, that they pass on to their children and their children come and it leads to their demise because now they're using all the money that you left them and using it and strung out on drugs because you didn't show them how to do it. You didn't show them how to work. You didn't show them how to stay focused. You didn't show them those things. I have to show people how it is because I, I got stressed. <laughs> okay. Truthfully, I got stressed. How am I going to get this done? Going broke sometimes some weeks. But I didn't, I didn't let that stress me out. Because I got to get this done. God's saying you, you might, you, you don't know how long you have on this earth. And that's what COVID taught us. You don't know how long you have on this earth to get these things done. You really don't. So why let another day pass and say, oh, you know what I'm saying? There's somebody out there who needs encouragement to know that I can do this too. Show people your process. Don't be afraid to say that I failed. Don't be afraid to say that I had a setback. Setbacks make Setbacks are always necessary when your ego is getting involved. You know, I came out of a situation to where I'm like, it's going to be all about me. But it wasn't all about me because I was truly in love with myself. It was because I have to put my focus on me because if I don't, I'm going to go insane. You know what I'm saying? I have to put it on me because I've been betrayed. <laughs> so I might as well put it on me. So I worked myself to death and ended up with the skates. Trying to find a release. And it broke my dang arm. Ain't that a blip. God will make you sit down sometimes as you're building. Okay. I was working to get my bills paid off. Which I had. And saving up for my place. And guess what I had to do. But let me tell you this. I didn't dip into my apartment money. I dipped into my savings. Because... That goal was so precious to me, I had to leave it alone. And I knew that I would, I would get discouraged with that. Savings are meant there for a reason. You know, something, you have to have discipline. You have to have faith. Okay? It was hard. But I didn't let that stress me out. I didn't let that stress me out. And so that set me up for now to where I think what abundance is not scarcity. You got to get it done. You figure out how you got to adjust. Some things you may not have to go without. That's just life. So hopefully that this episode will inspire somebody to get started. Stop saying tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. You know, work on it today. Do something today. Are you making a product? Work on a new recipe right now. Tweak it. Trial and error. You got a new song you're trying to create? Write on some lyrics right now. Write a goal. Do some push-ups today. You got a health risk. You have a health goal you're trying to reach? Do something today. Don't let each day go by and don't do and not do anything. Yes, rest is important. Don't become a workaholic. Try to have balance the best way that you can. But each day, do your best at making sure that you're coming through for yourself because if you're not coming through for yourself nobody else will be able to fill that void that's your purpose that is your goal so i hope that this will help somebody turn some life around to reevaluate some things to reprioritize some goals to not be afraid 
and you know that's the thing about the community of African Americans is that we come from scarcity, you know, because little things that we look at my people who are my age, I am 20 going 20 going on 24. Can't remember I'm getting old. I can't remember how old I am. I be forgetting like how old am I? Like I be really asking myself. But you know, people my age where <laughs> we lost that. We lost that, you know, go for what you want. The sky is the limit. We lost that fear of scarcity in a sense. Because our parents kind of raised me, well, that my parents raised me to think, you know, save it up for a rainy day. What does pandemic teach you? A rainy day don't got to be a, a, a rainy day can be anything. You know what I'm saying? A rainy day could be a pandemic. It could be, it can really be anything. A rainy day doesn't have to be a day where you just ain't got nothing to do. It could be, you know what, I got to get on my stuff. Whatever you, whatever you have, if you think you're going to have, if you have a savings, what it's for. A savings are for, you know, of course. Anything that could happen, that's an emergency. But also, get started. You know, don't be scared to, to, to dip into that if you have to. Have discipline. Have a strategy. Have a goal. That is important. Hopefully, I did not ramble too much in this episode. But I just had to give you guys more than just the list of things that I bought because it's more than that. It's about taking a chance on yourself and knowing that if you feel proud about it, if you feel strong about it, there's a reason why it's there and act upon it now. Act upon it now. We only have right now. We only have right now. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode and I will see you on the next.